attempts have dipped and will continue to do so. Jacket and blanket weather. It's that time of year at Soldier Field. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Buffalo Bills and the Chicago Bears. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Field's going to throw right away. Man open. That's Byron Pringle complete. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Touchdown, Chicago. Byron Pringle, 75 yards. And the Bears put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive-type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the fourth year running back. This is Devin Singletary. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They go right back to Singletary. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Allen. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Allen to throw it. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To the air, Allen. 
And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the gun, it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. 39 yards there, a big one. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, moved the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Cook will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. This taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Throwing on third down, Fields. Got an open man, it's Pringle. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Now a first down throw, Fields. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now it's Fields. And that will be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep, Naheem Hines. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Taking it about the 16. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's second and five now from the 37. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was. Handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Singletary again. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And now they'll throw with Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 24-yard line. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. 45 yards on the ground for him so far. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, 
they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. A give, Singletary, right side. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And here's Allen. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. On the return, it's Tristan Ebner from his end zone. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh, my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards. And oh, it caught down. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 73 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. They'll give this to Singletary running right. Flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and 10. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Throwing is Allen on third. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. 21 yards there on third down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Allen going to throw. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Allen now on third and goal. Eluding the pressure right. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis from three yards out. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down An extra point by bass up and good and it's now 21 to 7.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Field's going to hurry his guys to the line. From the 31, Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On first down, Fields. Looking left sideline, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw his fields. Finds Komet on the quick slam. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Here's Fields. This pass on target, Valus Jones with it. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing again is Fields. Pass incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Fields now to throw. And that's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. But it'll be second down. 
Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Throwing again on second and 10. Allen on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Hallett. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This from 54 yards away. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Allen off the play fake, rolling to his left. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. On the give, this is Singletary, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Allen now on first down. And Diggs has it. No, oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Singletary trying the left side, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. 
So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 16. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On second and seven, Allen setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Throwing now is Allen. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Now Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option to run and play action, maybe throwing it. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Allen to throw once more to the goal line, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. Singletary. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. He lost a big chunk, six yards there, and it leads to fourth down. This has not been a fun game for this defense. They definitely had their share of struggles, but they needed to make a play right there, and they finally get it done on third and goal. The kick by Bass is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half.
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 33 yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On oh, the option left is Fields. And some room to maneuver. And they finally bring him down, but he reaches the 16. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escapability all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached. They get the ball to the guys who could do all the things you just described. You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability all rolled into one with the ball in their hands. And guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing it or handing it off when you can do all of that yourself. And yeah, that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Back to throw. Fields. Montgomery, another target and catch. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. David Montgomery, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And the Bills getting set to go. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. To throw again on second down. Allen. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. 
Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Sam Martin now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you He's got a man complete! And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that one results in 35 yards. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Field's going to hold on to it. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. He's able to call his own number for eight that time but it leaves him with a third down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, it'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They created a nice sustained drive off the plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. One play action. Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Tyrell Dotson gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target. But now it's third and goal. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. 
A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now it's Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Byron Pringle, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now out come the Bills. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This, to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by McKenzie, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Throwing again on second down. Allen, head complete, right side to Cook. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Allen on third. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. To throw his fields. Open man is connect the tight end. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And this will be a Bears first down as good running gets him to about the 44. 
They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Fields. And he fires one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And a fast footwork by White. Well, that puts a little bit of a wrinkle in their comeback bid. Yeah, everything had turned around for them, hadn't it? I mean, things were now going their way. But you did mention it's a wrinkle in their comeback bid. It's not the death knell for them by any stretch. But now they've got some extra work to do in order to climb all the way back. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. On first down, Allen. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Now Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Isaiah McKenzie, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bills will add to their fourth-quarter lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over, and here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. 
And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 38-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. It doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. Fields. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now Fields. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Santos with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical back now on offense the Buffalo Bills and still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he's got Rome. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it.
so it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.